few toxic workplace behaviors that limit collaboration and how to avoid them. Number one, email-based communication. What's wrong with it? Communication should be as intuitive and fast as possible. Employees spend over half their time dealing with work-related email. How to avoid it. Many companies have huge success with group chat platforms for teams. Group chat allows for consistent, collaborative, and intuitive conversation. Number two, complicated communication process and structure. What's wrong with it? Companies sometimes don't know how to function without heavily structured and regulated processes for communication. This is usually the case for extremely large corporations, but smaller teams within those companies need more freedom. Here's how to avoid it. Employees should be able to reach supervisors who can access the means necessary to act on these ideas quickly and communicate directly across departments and teams without managerial approval. Number three, overmanaging. What's wrong with it? Companies often forget how capable and intuitive their employees are. There comes a time when managing becomes mainly about making sure employees do X, Y, and Z according to plan. How to avoid it. Managers should present challenges, expectations, suggestions, and resources. They should learn to promote collaboration on a regular basis in order to see brilliant ideas and important problems solved. Allow employees to solve problems using their diverse skill sets together. To learn more about promoting collaboration, visit our blog at blog.hibox.co.